This video demonstrates the installation of the New Vision's glass barn door and track. The following are tools or items that are necessary or may be useful in the door assembly. A large sturdy workbench or sawhorses, a drill, a Phillips head screwdriver, a 5 16 inch drill bit, a tape measure, a 4 foot level, a pencil, and safety glasses. Due to the weight of the door, we recommend two people for any lifting. Prior to any installation of the track, you must decide if a mounting board is needed and the board must be installed first. Due to many overlapping factors such as location of wall studs, weight of the door, and the various types of trim used in homes, we highly recommend using a mounting board in all situations. The track must be installed into solid blocking, casing, or a properly installed mounting board. Improper installation could result in serious bodily harm. Next, measure for the proper height placement of your track. Add 1 and 5 8 inches to the height of the door being installed. Mark this height on the wall into a stud or mounting board on the side of the jam where the door will be in the closed position. On the same side where you made your height mark, measure 4 and 3 quarter inches over from the door jam and mark the intersection of the two measurements. This will be the location of the first hole for the track bracket. With a tape measure, mark the locations for the remaining fasteners and track brackets every 24 inches. Then use a 4 foot level to make sure all marks are level for proper installation. Remove the faceplate and rubber spacer from the track brackets and place the first track bracket at the intersection previously marked and using the drill insert the proper fastener for your wall type to secure the bracket. Install the remaining track brackets. Using the Allen wrench, loosely replace the black spacers and face plates onto the track brackets. Do not fully tighten so the track can be installed.
Place the track onto the track brackets. Slide a door stop onto each end of the track, making sure the pointed end for each is facing upward and the rubber stoppers for each are facing inward. Slide the door stops in far enough so they are to the inside of the outermost bracket on each end. Make sure track is centered on the track brackets and tighten the face plates on the track brackets with the Allen wrench to secure the track into place. Attach the brackets to the door. Place the door on a sturdy work surface. Take one of the roller brackets and using the special tool provided, remove the decorative caps and set those aside. Using an Allen wrench, remove the two Allen screws and set those aside. Once the Allen screws are removed, you will have two of the round units from the back of the bracket. Unscrew one of the units and separate. Insert the pieces with the threading tube through the back of the door and then place the silver and black ring pieces onto the front side of the door and twist until snug. Repeat with the other ring unit for this bracket. Once both ring units are secure, lay the roller bracket onto the ring units. Line up the holes, replace the Allen screws, and tighten with the Allen wrench. Replace the decorative caps and secure with a tool provided.
Repeat these steps with the remaining bracket. To install the handle, unscrew the handle into two pieces, making sure there are rubber spacers on each half of the handle. Place half of the handle on the underside of the handle opening in the door. Place the other half on the top side of the opening and screw together until snug. Lift the door and slide the attached rollers onto the track. Make sure the decorative bracket caps are facing outward. Make sure the door stops are in the proper position and location for the door to fully open and fully close. This can be done by centering the door in the opening. Slide the stopper on the closed position side of the door over until it comes into contact with the roller bracket. Make sure the pointed end is facing upward and use the Allen wrench to tighten the two screws on the door stop to set it into place. Next, roll the door into the full open position and repeat the steps for setting the other door stop. Next, install the floor guide. To locate the proper installation position on the floor, slide the door into the desired closed position and mark the outside edge of the door on the floor. Now, place the door into the open position and mark the inside edge of the door on the floor. Make sure that whether the door is in the open or closed position, that the door never leaves the door guide. This is the proper location for the door guide. Make sure your guide location is well marked. With the door in the open position, place the back piece of the door guide onto the marked location and then place the front piece onto that so it lines up. Insert a screw into the right side opening in the guide and secure to the floor. Move the door to the closed position and insert the second screw into the left opening in the guide and secure to the floor. Your barn door is now ready for use.